Well, here we have another very interesting find. Uh, I was at this um, estate sale today. And lo and behold, I see these two sewing machines with the bent wood tops, the curved tops on them. And this one, one of them had all the uh, decals were like worn away. It was in really terrible shape. This one had the cover on. It was locked. They can only get half of it open. We couldn't get this end of it open. And I didn't have a key on me. So, um, paid a whole 20 bucks for this thing. I saw that the decals looked good from what I can tell, so I took a chance on it. Plus, I saw that this thing had something else I never saw before, is the controller built in the cabinet. And I didn't even realize that this was, this was there. This is a knee control. This thing is amazing. It's got the special bend to it so that it can clear the table. So you don't have to have it right at the edge of the table. You like push it back a little bit. And your knee works the controller like this for the speed. And here's the original cotton cord. I mean, this thing is, this is 1926, by the way. We checked the serial number. I checked it out. Here's the original cotton cord. It's got these interesting plugs in the back. I take this cover off. And there is the controller, the motor controller, the porcelain housing. And you can see when I manipulate the uh, the knee control, how it works. The speed control. That's a carbon stack speed control. Original 1926 Singer speed control. And uh, that is just fascinating. I was... Always wanted to know how these things worked, and uh, this is removable. This pops right out. In fact, I didn't even realize that this was included. It was inside, underneath the machine. I'll just lay that over there, and that's that's how I knew it had the uh, this option. You could see the the little nub through the hole there. But usually, this is just empty, and you have the speed control that goes on the floor. But this is the one that's built in. This is a really cool machine. This is a model one twenty eight. Um, as usual, the cabinet's got issues. It's it'll, just like the other one I did. It was broken over here. I have to glue it. Nothing's been shined yet. Nice and dull. We're going to do before and after on this. This is the before. But it's in uh, definitely, definitely very restorable condition. Everything looks good on it. I found some piece of metal underneath here. I don't know where it was. Something was broken off. But uh, I can't tell where it came from. And this is one of those machines that has absolutely no gears. This is all cams and levers. Beautiful, beautiful shape. I'm going to do a nice clean-up restoration on this thing. Got a little bit of the that's messing there, but that's, I mean, that's really nitpicking. This thing is in gorgeous shape. And the other side of it is just as nice. It looks just beautiful. Really good. There's the motor. Really nice. Okay, this one actually has this nice decorative cover plate with the lamp mounted behind it. The other one is a little different. This also has this interesting spring-loaded tensioner on the belt that I haven't seen before. And there's the, uh, the BT-7 motor, 0.6 amps. Gorgeous machine, it all restored. The cabinets in the garage, or, or is this thing blurry? Uh, this cabinet I did with um, linseed oil. I didn't take pictures of it before, but it was ugly. Uh, let's see, we're going to see what the linseed oil does. Anyway, beautiful number model 128 Singer. Estate sale fine, 20 bucks. Keep your eyes open for these things. They're beautiful machines. This is going to get a full restoration, like I said. And that's it for now.